Hello, friends, neighbors, and pals. It's Tony. Tony from the Rhinestone Room. Welcome back to the Rhinestone Room, brought to you by the wonderful people at the Vegas Voice Magazine. I hope you're doing well. This is our third, I think it's our third segment here of the Rhinestone Room uh, in Las Vegas, and we're very, very excited to have you. And I'm very, very excited to have this show and this time and this segment um, with you. And I wanted to share something. You know, we've only done, like I said, three segments or so, and... What's funny is I'm, I'm I'm already receiving emails and I and I think it's wonderful and I I really am genuinely uh, surprised and uh, very grateful and very thankful uh, for the emails and people have been emailing me at my website so if if you go to my website at, at tonyarace.com you will see that there's a, a little contact button a contact icon and that contact icon contacts me directly at my email address, Tony at TonyArias.com. So you too, you're more than welcome to send me an email, send anything you like. And uh, I did, this was not something that, that I had even thought about or thought um, uh, I'd even mentioned before in the previous uh, episodes, and and yet people are doing it. So I'm I'm thrilled. So I wanted to share some emails. These are actual emails that I've received from you, uh, the viewers. And like I said, we've only we've only done three three episodes. So I'm very excited about the success of the Rhinestone Room on the Vegas Boys. So thank you so much. But let me share this with you. And I and some of you, um, I'm going to mention your names, just your first name. I'm not going to mention your last name, but I'll mention where you're from and um, and go through through some of these uh, questions. And I love, if you've ever been to one of my shows, you know that one of the segments I love to do is uh, just open it up to the audience and say, whatever questions you may have, bring it, bring it. I love that. I never know what you're going to say. I never, never know. I never know what you're going to ask. And it, it keeps me on my toes. So I love it. So this is uh, from Daryl uh, in Anthem. And Daryl says, um, have you played football, and how tall are you? Well, um, I'm, I used to be six foot four, but as we get uh, a little bit older, we, we soon get it. And also, I'm missing a vertebrae. I was actually born without uh, a certain vertebrae in the tailbone, so I should technically be an inch taller. Um, uh, so I think I'm about six three now, six three and a half. Uh, is what I think I am. And if I eat chili, then then I'm 6'4". Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, 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 have I played football? No. No, I haven't. You would think that somebody my size built like a refrigerator, which I love refrigerators, by the way. And if we ever get a refrigerator sponsor, I want to meet you. Um, I think that football was never, I never understood it. I just didn't get it. I honestly, when somebody would say, I, you know, hey, look, he's grabbing the pig skin. I love pork rinds. I mean, that's, a, that's the way I look at it, you know, and it had nothing to do with the game. So I, you know, so anyway, I've never played football. I, I, um, I'm just, I think I'm too pretty for it. So anyway, so there's your there's your answer, Daryl from Anthem. Uh, this is from Nancy uh, in Henderson. Uh, would it be possible to share your hair coloring secrets? Well, the, I don't have any secrets as far as my <laughs> as far as my hair coloring is concerned. This is it. This is real. Um, I've I've been asked, and even in the grocery stores, as people, uh, a woman has come up to me. Uh, this has happened to me several times where a woman has come up to me and said, is that your real hair? Uh, it is. It is my real, <laughs> it is my real hair. And this is the color that, it, that it, it, it has become. For years, I will say, and I'll be very, very honest, for years, I did dye it. I dyed my hair because I started going gray in my early 20s. And somebody who was also a contemporary of mine in show business said, you know, yeah, you know, you're you're too young to have gray hair, and they don't want gray hair on the stage, so dye it. So I did, and about seven years ago, maybe seven, eight, nine years ago, I stopped dyeing it, and this is what this is what came through. It's salt and pepper, and that's just what it is. And so, but it's amazing that gray hair is now fashionable, and people much much younger than I are now paying thousands of dollars 
to have their hair uh, dyed gray, which I don't think they can actually dye gray. They have to, they have to plumb, they have to, I don't know, platen it or something. Anyway, so yes, it is my real hair, and that's my secret. Um, Flora from Las Vegas, I've seen your shows twice, and you always seem, you always seem very happy. Are you always that cheerful? And the answer is um, yes. I don't, I don't, you know, I think if you had all of my talent <laughs> and good looks, you would be cheerful too, right? How lucky, yay for me, I mean, right? <laughs> God, yes, I don't know, honey, it's just, it's just one of those things. Margaret from Las Vegas, um, do you have a CD, and if so, where can I find it? It's not on your website. You're absolutely right, Margaret. I don't. Uh, you can't find the uh, CD on the website because there is no CD. I don't have a CD. I never have. They're incredibly expensive to put together, and they're a lot of work to put together, and quite frankly, I'm just too damn lazy. So <laughs> I don't have a CD. So you got to come to the shows. But thank you, Margaret, for asking. Carl from Henderson, we enjoy seeing you at the Library Theater and Sun City McDonald Ranch. Uh, my wife, Joyce, and I are waiting for you to sing opera. Well, you're gonna have to wait a long time. I don't sing opera. I, I'm, uh, opera is one of those things that you have to really put a lot of work into. And I, as you can tell, I'm just too lazy. And my choir director, when I was in um, junior high school, I think I was 12 or 13, came to my mother and said, you should give him opera lessons. And my mother actually asked me, she said, do you want to take opera lessons? And I said, no. Why <laughs> when I want to take opera lessons? That's a lot of work. I mean, they, they train, you know, four and six and eight hours a day, and I'm just, not for me. I'm so sorry. I wish I could. Thank you, Carl. Uh, let's see. Doris from Las Vegas. Um, you have a very attractive last name. Thank you. Is Arius Italian or Spanish? And I think it's both, but I happen to be a uh, Hispanic. So a lot of people think I'm Italian. And I, I, I was raised around a lot of Italians, so I use a lot of <laughs> gestures with my hands. And so um, a lot of people think I'm Italian. I get that all the time, which leads us to this next question. This is David from Henderson. Have you been on The Sopranos? I get that one a lot. I get, And even, I'm telling you, out in public, people, in general public, people go, were you on The Sopranos? And I'd say, no, I, I wasn't. But I, I have something about that. I don't know. I just think it was working for all the Italians back in the day that I just picked up something. I don't, I have no idea. And I think The Sopranos was a fantastic series. I just didn't think most of them were terribly good looking. So I'm a little offended. <laughs> Mary from Las Vegas, are you still reading children's books on tape? I never have, Mary. I've never read any children's books on tape. I don't read books on tape. I do a lot of voiceovers, but I don't read. I don't read because I don't read. <laughs> I just don't. I'm not very good at it. I don't know how to spell. And isn't it funny that I've made a living off my voice and yet I can't read? So isn't that too much? Um, Michael from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. My, Michael, thank you for watching us in Phoenix, Arizona. I appreciate that. Where did you study music? Ah, okay, I get this one a lot. Where did I study music? Well, write this down. Tony never studied anything. <laughs> Nothing. I barely graduated from high school. I really, I graduated with a below C average. That's how much I studied. I didn't study at all. I just, I wanted to do what I wanted to do so badly that I just did whatever I had to do. I don't, it, it's just, it, some people go, did it come naturally for you? Singing, entertaining, I guess so. But I guess I just wanted bad enough that I just went, I'm gonna go try this. Anyway, those are some fantastic questions and I wanna thank Daryl and Nancy and Flora and Margaret and Carl and Joyce and Doris and David and Mary and Michael. Thank you so much for the these wonderful questions and keep them coming. I, I had no idea we were gonna do this segment in the rhinestone room until I started getting all of these emails. I thank you so, so very much. Stay tuned for more episodes. We have more episodes coming with some fantastic guests. I'm very, very excited about them and I'm excited that you and I get to spend this time together so please go to TonyArius.com contact me there and I and see that all the uh, new shows that are coming up and uh, and I really appreciate you thank you so much and thank you to our friends at the Vegas Voice this is Tony from the Rhinestone Room we'll see you next time thanks bye bye